What's up, fellow dropshippers? I wanted to take you along as I listed my first item on my new store using DSM tool. So I'm just gonna experiment with how this works. I'm not gonna do any product research yet. I'm just going to list one item to see how it works, right? Um, so I just came over to Amazon, looked at toys, because it is Christmas time. Uh, Pokemon came up. So I, like I said, not gonna do any research, just picking a random item, just to test DSM tool. So here's the item I wanna list. I'm going to copy the link, I think. On DSM tool over on the left, there's a tab for rapid lister. I'm clicking on that. And pasting the link here. Right, let me see something. Yeah, okay. Pasting the whole link here, choosing eBay and ooh, a template. Uh, I'm just gonna go with big sale for now. I'm not quite sure what the templates are, but we'll stick with that for now and click import. Wait for that to load. All right. And obviously this is where I would change the title. Here's some just suggested words. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pikachu toys, I would throw toys Pikachu in there. Don't need these sizes. Real Rand Pokemon action figures. I don't know. Normally I don't include brands unless it's a brand that people know. I don't know if that's a popular brand. I'll stick it at the end for now. Pokemon action figures, 144 pieces. 144 toy pieces I'll put. Pikachu, Real Rand toys. Let's see what else here you might want to see um what else might i name this i'm not going to get too much into optimizing titles and like i said i'm going to try the sniping method for this store anyway so i really shouldn't be wasting my time optimizing these titles so i'll just leave it at that for now even though i like to fill it out but uh we'll just leave it at that for now just trying to figure out how this works oh well, this is neat. Competitors. So this will tell me how much other people are selling it for on eBay. This guy's selling it for 20 and on Amazon, it would cost me 21. So this doesn't look like it's gonna be a good product because it looks like there's already some steep competition. This guy is selling it for 20, it sold 150. So I cannot compete with that. That's really neat that they show you all this. Oh, this guy's selling for 24 though. And he sold 20 of them. This guy's selling for 24 and sold 262. And that's really neat. That they show you all that. And this might be a good way to find competition. I'm assuming if I click this, it'll bring me to the competition. No sales tax. It seems like a drop shipper. 262 sold. That's probably another drop shipper, and I just found their store. So that might be an easy way to find some other drop shippers. And this would be the how you do the price. Um, so if the desired profit is twenty percent, estimated profit. So let's if I lower this. Okay, now the price is coming down. Uh, okay, so that's how I would, if I want to lower the profit to be more um, competitive, that's how I would do that. If I leave the quantity at one because it's a new store. All this information looks good. Good to cancel, new, true, true, location, Phoenix. I always change this to where I am. I'll do that later. So you guys... Uh, oh, I guess I could put it now. You all know I live in New York. New York. New York. All right. Here's the images. Is one image better? No, this this one, the main image is good. 
and let's see, this is title. Will that update with the title up there? Uh, yeah, it says it right here. Okay, cool. And everything looks, looks pretty cool to me. All right. So I'm actually not going to publish this one because it doesn't look like it's going to sell well. And I do want to check out if this profit thing, I don't really know how to add a how, to, how much to mark up these items on Amazon. So that's something I want to look into as well. Settings, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so kind of getting off topic here. I have to blur out my email address. My name, default currency, I'll change my time zone. I am in the Eastern time zone. That's negative five, I believe. I don't know how I know that. I already connected with my PayPal account. I'll click update. Let's see what else I can change here. The dashboard, alert on items out of stock. Well, that's cool. It, it will alert me if an item's out of stock for more than three days. Alert me on items last sold more than 30 days ago. So I'll get an alert if an item hasn't sold for 30 days. Uh, if an item has less than 10 views. So that's cool stuff. Kind of prevents you from wasting space with these items that aren't selling. Let's check out listings. Default target will be eBay because that's the only one I use. In other words, this is where it's going to list to. I am location. I'll fill in New York, New York. I'm assuming this means I don't have to type this in every time. Default break even percentage. Okay. I don't quite know right now. Um, I know the default, I mean, it's about 14% before taxes. I mean, if you don't have to pay sales tax. So 19 is probably a good number, but if you have to pay sales tax for some states, I'm actually probably gonna lose money on that, but I'll keep it at 19 for now, just so I can be a little more competitive. And then desired profit. I'm assuming this is desired profit on top of the break even point. Let's see what this says. And it will make a period of Okay, I'm gonna lower this to like 8% just because I'm trying to be competitive at first. Do I want to block Vero brands? Um, so Vero brands are items that have a lot of copyright uh, issues with them. So companies like DeWalt, I know, if you try to list their brands, your listing will get removed because you're using their images, their descriptions, and those are copyrighted and they don't want you to do that. You are allowed to sell their items, but you have to take your own pictures and write your own descriptions for them. So I'm gonna leave that, I guess, on for now. Enable auto filling of item specifics by lister. Yes, I don't wanna do that myself. Logo, no, I don't want a logo. Business policies. These, they're pulling directly from eBay. So you gotta set that up in eBay, which I've already done. Uh, no, not the 14 day, the 30 day update. And I can go over in another video how to set up business policies within eBay itself. But I'm just going over a DSM tool because this is a new thing for me. Let's see what the monitor change target quantity to zero. So when an item enters to protection mode. So I'm assuming this what this means is that, oh yeah. Protection mode is when an item goes out of stock or is out of free shipping. So as soon as an item goes out of stock, uh, DSM tool is going to set the quantity to zero. The other choice is to double the target price. So I'm going to do zero. Amazon Prime protection. Yeah. So a lot of this is self-explanatory. It'll give me alerts when items are out of stock. I want everything to be enabled. Yeah, so I'm just going through this. Looks like there's a different setting for each source. I'm just concentrating on Amazon right now. Let's see what sales. All right, I'm not subscribed yet. All right, so I think that's a good, good setup. Uh, I'm gonna start using it and see if I change any other settings. But yeah, that's, that's I think, a good start for DSM tool. Um, pretty self-explanatory, but I hope you guys, if you were a little confused, you can see the, you can see how it works here and I'll show you what it looks like after I list a bunch of items on it.
That'll be in the next video.